Welcome back, my bulbous rooms, to another episode of Turn Back Thursdays. We're playing Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Last episode was almost entirely a dialogue-rich episode with no combat in it, so I'm kind of stoked to go into an area where I don't have to do silly voices. I'm gonna do silly voices from Congress. But I don't need to uh, read dialogue while doing it. So, we're just gonna move on. Actually, I probably want to go back to this one. Because, flower. And maybe I get into combat. Yeah, sometimes you just get into combat. This area is, uh, weird. Uh, we have new weapons, by the way. We got the, uh, shell for Mario. And we finally got a melee froggy stick, as it's called, for a mouse. Not that he'll almost ever use it, but it's... It's there for when we feel like we can use it. So I think uh, we can just apply some melee damage to these guys, even with Mallow. I think Mallow will be able to take this guy out. And survey says he can. It's fantastic. Weird flower in these. We got a mushroom. Uh, we don't want to sit on too many mushrooms. Uh, this is going to go back and forth. I actually want to go the other way. Oh, I ended up in a combat. I was trying to jump for that coin, but I guess I'm not going to get it now, am I? Um, I'm going to hit everything with a thunderbolt. Good chunk. Got rid of those two. Geesh. Alright. I uh, screwed up. The, the shell timings are a little weird compared to um, the hammer because it like gets thrown in the air first. It's... I honestly always screw up the shell the first couple of times I use it. I eventually get into the rhythm, but it, it takes a little bit of adjustment. So there's two ways you can handle these guys. If you jump into them, it's just a normal combat. But if you jump underneath them, you can like uh, knock them off of their uh, off their thing, and they just get dizzy. But that's not here more than we're just going to get rid of these guys. Because we like combat. I mean, I never understood people who play RPGs and, like, avoid every single combat that they can. Because isn't the point of an RPG, like, isn't the gameplay the, uh, the combat that you partake in? That's, that's like the gameplay. Running around the world map isn't gameplay. Running around the world map is just, like, filler to get to the gameplay, which is fighting combat. So I never understood why people avoid combat in RPGs, because that's, like, avoiding from playing the game? At least in my eyes it is. Alright, uh, that's 6 HP. That's not insignificant. Um... Yeah, we're gonna go with the 6 HP. Whenever it goes up by a large number like this, like 6, that's going to be when we take HP over MP, or over magic. Alright, so, one of the annoying things about this particular area is that when you try to jump onto these things, first of all, it's annoying, and second of all, if you miss the timing, you can uh, end up pushing these things back and getting them unsynced. I was on it. Come on. Alright, we're on it. Alright, so I want to hit up. There we go. Get into the center. Oh my god. Yeah, it doesn't go directly underneath it. You have to also, like, walk to the side. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. So, see, now they're slightly off sync. Because I was delaying them. Now it's like really wonky. Right. I think if I just exit and re enter, those enemies will still be gone. Yeah, and now they're in sync again. Oh no. Alright. They're still mostly in sync. Oh my god. This is, this is one of the most annoying jumps in the game, and it's completely optional, but I still want it. 
my god, I keep over jumping it or under jumping it. Alright, alright, alright. So we want to hold up and to the right. There we go. Ah, oh, thank God that's over. Just had to take it slow. Get that coin. And let's get going. All right, so these guys give tons of money and experience if you can actually take them out. But they're, they can immediately run away. As, as seen just now. And if you mess the timing on hitting them, you will miss. I was actually not strong enough to kill them with a single lightning bolt. Probably because I was I took two levels to actually gain <laughs> HP instead of magic. Mobby. But it's not that big a deal. I'm also usually higher level than this by this point. Um, not by much, but like one or two levels is sometimes enough to make the difference when it comes to being able to one-shot things and not one-shot them. I mean, it's not like we've ever gotten close to getting a game over, so that's not been an issue. And uh, there's one particular place later in the game where I farm levels like a, like a mofo, and uh, when we get there, I'll, I'll explain how to do it. And there's two places later on in the game that are really close to one another. Uh, and some players use the one to get a ton of experience really quickly and easily. But I use a different method that just requires more combat and less, uh, less exploiting the game. Uh, I, I kind of face mash it. But... Well, it's gonna be a while from now before I do it, but I'll, I'll explain it better in detail once we get that far. So there's really no point in me bringing it up now, other than it kind of feels like what I'm doing right now. Right now we're just, um, if you defeat all of these things, he'll eventually run out. As you can see, he's, he's not dropping any more shy guys. And so he's actually going to, like, reward us. Alright, we didn't mess up this time. Once again, that, that helps you if there's multiple of them. You can uh, take out multiple of them at the same time. Uh, we're out of FP. We should probably use like a froggy. Uh, not a froggy. We should probably use a, an item to replenish that. Alright, and... Oh, he's gonna turn me in. Oh no, he's gonna put me to sleep. Oh, but he's gonna just put Mario to sleep. That's fine. Mallow is going next anyway, and the survey proves likely that was all it needed. It's so weird, when I was a kid, I wasn't aware of, like, the Japanese trope of, like, the snot bubble coming out of your nose when you're sleeping, so I had no idea what the heck I was looking at when people fell asleep. I was like, what the hell is going- what is- is, is that like a dream bubble he's got there? And I didn't need to use that flower tab. I forgot what he gave you. I remember him giving you something, but I forgot what it was. Uh, we will go over here, get this coin. This is gonna send me back. I don't wanna go back. I want to go to here. Uh, go here. This is another mushroom, I don't need it. It sends us back to the beginning. I want to go back to the beginning. What I want is to get these coins. Oh no! I messed. I done. I done messed up, guys. All right. Just jump straight up. You got this. All right, we did. It was. It was more harrowing than it probably had any right to be, but we did it. And now we can move on. And here comes a nice little. Uh, Nice little area with some shy guys and some treasure chests. And as you can see, he had little swirls in his eyes when you knock him off there. Okay. Okay, guys. This is this is serious time right now. I need to put you in the mindset of me as a child. Alright? 
think of yourself as a kid who's playing this game and you know you've the, the game's graphics are good but they're not like picture perfect right look at that spider tell me that that spider doesn't have this weird indicate the the shadow that's underneath the spider is so perfectly dark and so perfectly underneath him that you could possibly see it as him being inside a tire and wrapping his legs around a, like a tire that is what i saw as a child i never understood why these spiders were sitting inside tires i i understand that it's a shadow as an adult but as a kid that's all i saw all i saw was this thing being inside a tire i can't explain why i thought that way but that's that's what i saw i saw a tire there all right so we've been really like failing hard about killing these thieves so let's not uh keep messing up it's this is getting really bad how much hp does this guy have i'm curious maybe if i don't even hurt him he won't run away. he has 38 you can't run away ha uh more like you're gonna run away yep see you later i mean it's not that big a deal it's just kind of annoying that i'm not strong enough with mallow to kill them and I keep screwing up the turtle shell with uh, Mario. I feel like the more agile or the more agile appearing the enemies are, like your window for hitting the uh, attack animation is smaller. So like, for some reason, hitting uh, the correct note on them is more difficult. Or another possibility, is I am hitting them correctly, but the game's not giving me the sound effect because he, the game knows that he's going to dodge. And I guess I never really took that into consideration that I wasn't screwing up. Just he legitimately dodged my attack and so they, they, the game knows that that's going to happen and doesn't play the sound effect. I don't know why I've never thought that until just now because I'm pretty sure I'm hitting it the same time I would with the Shy Guys, for instance. Uh, no, I don't want to use it. Hit them with the old lightning bolts. This way, uh, all one hit away from death from either Mario or Mala. Uh, this, this area is one of the most annoying because unlike the areas earlier in the game, where everything died to a single, uh, lightning bolt or um, there was only like two enemies to begin with uh, this is one of the few areas where Mallow's just not quite strong enough to one shot everything and uh, Mario uh, and you don't have a third party member is what I was actually trying to say not Mario has nothing to do with this uh, and you don't have a third party member the other option is you could have just uh, leveled up higher but uh, clearly I haven't done that Got him that time. And you see, he drops a big coin. And we know that the Shy Guy is worth two experience because we've killed a, a couple of them now. And let's see how many experience points we got in, in difference. For killing that one guy, he's worth four experience points. So he's worth twice as much as the Shy Guy. So, you know, that's, that's kind of the way I see it. Alright, we uh, avoided that. And he did f 5 damage when I avoided, or when I blocked. I wonder how much damage he would have done if I didn't block. Um, well, that guy did only 1. He also did 5, and he did 5 to Mario. That's pretty scary. Alright, um, let's get rid of this shy guy. And we got an attack up, which is always nice. Guy with the old froggy staff. 30. He did less 
to Mallow. I can't explain why. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can explain why. Mallow has the true form pin, which raises his defense when Mario has, uh... And that's why we do that one last. And where Mario has the, uh, jump boots, so those raise his attack, but not his defenses. So yeah, maybe, maybe Mario and Mallow's defenses are comparable, or physical defenses, but minimum, are comparable because of that difference. That's very possible. Hmm. Alright, so now we're going to get into a nice little cutscene kind of cameo thing. There's a lot of Goombas over there. Hey, stop. <laughs> Get a my Bowser voice. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, people. Form ranks. Attention, shelled warriors. Hooded sorcerers. And last but not least, uh, groundling goombas. This is our uh, troopers are invisible. We shall be victorious. The bridge down, and we will find our way back in. Move on on the double. Move out on the double. Hey, I. It listen. It's hard to keep up with the silly voice, read, and uh, and all that when the game pushes it forward for me. Bowser and his troops must be on their way to Bowser's keep. Come on, Rose Town is just up ahead. So, that's a thing we got to see. Alright, so that's going to conclude today's episode. I'm actually going to go save in the Froggy Pond. Because I don't want to start up the cutscene in the next area quite yet. And I want to take a break for a little while. Um, so, I'm going to save the game here. And that will be it for today's episode. Uh, please hit the like button uh, to help support the show. Hit the subscribe button to make sure you never miss an episode. Hit the shared button if you want to help spread the word about the channel. I definitely would appreciate that. And then, of course, last but not least, have a fantastic day. I just hope you're doing well. You know, it's not always about me. I also want you to have a great day. So, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And I will see you tomorrow with the Daily Dose, which is Spiral Nights right now. And I will see you again next Tuesday for more Mario RPG content. See you then, guys.